I specialize or, or I have, a, have an interest in uh, surgery of the uh, thyroid and parathyroid glands that uh, involves removing uh, tumors um, in that area um, and uh, other cancers associated with the head and the neck. Sometimes it is, is just a big thyroid gland that is, uh, by its size, is causing problems. Sometimes it is a thyroid gland that is not functioning uh, well and needs removing, or a parathyroid gland doing the same thing. But more commonly, it is a, a mass or a nodule in the thyroid gland that uh, has been shown to be cancer or is concerning for cancer. The initial thyroid nodules often noticed incidentally. Uh, by a physician doing a routine exam and, and comes across a nodule, or by a patient, incidentally, uh, as they're looking in the mirror one day or shaving. The nodule is better defined by a, an ultrasound study often, uh, sometimes a CT scan of the neck. Um, and from there, it is further tested with, with biopsies and laboratory studies uh, before it uh, comes to surgery. The process for thyroid surgery depends on the extent of the surgery. If it is just half of the gland that needs removing, then patients can often go home the same day. If it is the entire gland, then they'll often stay one night in the hospital. After thyroid surgery, I would see a patient for one or two visits to make sure that they've healed from their surgery. The care often then returns to an endocrinologist or a primary care physician for long-term monitoring of whatever problem they had before surgery. I enjoy very much working with, with pediatric patients. It involves first getting the, the patient comfortable uh, and, and um, taking away some of the fear they may have coming into the office, and secondarily involves doing the exact same thing for the parents because uh, they're often very concerned and, and uh, afraid of the idea of surgery. It's building that trust and comfort level. And then usually a, a very routine uh, surgery with, with, with great results that, that uh, everyone is happy with. That's the way pediatric surgery, in ENT anyways, usually goes. A big part of, of my practice as well is, is addressing uh, nasal problems, sinus problems, nasal obstruction, sinus headaches, etc. Uh, seem to afflict a lot of people. We treat a lot of patients with those issues and do a lot of sinus surgery for them, uh, which again, tends to be very successful and, and uh, time well spent.